Here we are at Oakmont Cemetery. This is the plot where both Isabel and Merle Cribs are buried, as well as others in the Cribs family. Hello sports fans, welcome to Cribs Field in Verona, Pennsylvania. This field was donated to the town of Verona by Hyatt Cribs for the enjoyment of those in the community. in Verona, Pennsylvania. And there's Carolyn Moyer back in her hometown of Verona. Here's Main Street, Verona. And there's Merle Cribbs' old tax office here in downtown Verona. He was neighbors with Al the Barber. Beaver, Pennsylvania after a wonderful church service. This is where Uncle Bob and Aunt Louise go to church at the Presbyterian Church here in Beaver. Two sisters there. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> 
And there's Denny and Kristen. Hey, Bailey. Hey, Nick. 
okay, guys? Right. As soon as it comes time for him to get the big payday, they're not going to give it to him. I mean, I think they go. Carolyn Moore, go ahead. Uh, going to camp in Jamonville, I'm walking up the long hill to see the cross, cross. early in the morning. Wow. How about you, Aunt Jenny? Your favorite memory? Yes. That was your favorite memory. I, I remember that. You remember I couldn't wait to go to camp. Hill? Yes, I remember. And the uh, yeah, root bear floats <laughs> at, at Sweeney's. Do you know what I remember? At Jamonville, they asked us who our bishop was. And every somebody said Bishop Fulton J. <laughs> now, where's Jamonville? Where's that located? In Uniontown. Uniontown. Yes. Methodist camp. Oh, it's a Methodist camp. Oh, 12 years old. You had to be there. And guess what? Um, Mary, Megan, and Mark went this year. Oh my Where? gosh! Yeah, they took them down on a retreat. Oh. And they're still, it's still there. Yeah, it's still, and they well, all, and, and they were the, it was cold, and they were the only ones with a couple of, that went up to the cross. Oh. Because the other ones, it was so cold to walk up there. And I remember one summer I went with Janie Palmer, and she got homesick. Remember mm -hmm. it? Did they have camp counselors and things like that, oh, or what yeah. did they do? It was mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And the kids would go up for about a week or something like that, and they'd sing mm -hmm. songs and different things. And and my sister had long red hair. And I had to braid that long red hair. Mm -hmm. Now that's true. Hair. Mom has curly hair, but that's not her typical natural hair. Normal hair is straight, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, she wow. Could, she could sit on it when she got a cut. Really? That's was that long? It was. That's how long it was. Oh my gosh. And you used to have it in braids? Or how did you used to have it? Or? Braids. Long long braids. 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 Yes. The braids up. Is that right? And there was a woman by the name of Carolyn George that helped me braid it. And I just saw her not too long ago. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. I saw her in a restaurant and I said, Do you You're Carolyn it? George. 
Huh, you recognized her. Yeah, I know, yeah. And we talked about, and she was, her husband was there. She told her husband about, yes, we had to go to camp, and I had to braid her sister's hair. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the family house there in Verona, was that the family house for the whole time you grew up? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, well, but it, it was a stable. Mm -hmm. It was a stable? We were born in a sta carriage, carriage house. Yes. A carriage house. Well, the now, a carriage house the is for. Did somebody live in that in the in the, uh, the Petruni house. funeral home? Is that was that the main house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the carriage house was for the the people to. Was that like a guest house or for the servants to live in? Is that what a carriage house no. is? No. What's a carriage house? Well, you stored a carriage. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's where they would put the horse in the carriage and all mm -hmm. that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Yeah. There was also they that. also owned a glass hearse. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, didn't you ever hear that about the, no, the picture? I'll yeah. show you the picture of the glass hearse. Because my our dad got into trouble. Their pet bird died. And he and his friend put the bird in the hearse. Oh, my god! And drove it around town. Oh, wow. <laughs> and people stopped. <laughs> I bet. You know, the men took their hats off. And <laughs> well, he also went to Allegheny College. He graduated yes. 10th grade. Went to Allegheny College, completed, yeah. wow. completed a year, and he and his uncle, or his brother, uh, helped Daddy. take a cow up into the belfry of the college and got in the trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I heard Dad. And he had to leave the college. and he I thought because he was underage. Yeah. He, that's why he left the college, college. because he was underage. Yes. He only went yeah. to 10th grade. Oh my goodness. And had to come home, finish up at Wilkinsburg, and went to Pitt. Wow. But they did get into trouble with the cow. And and uh, when we talked about height cribs, that would have been your grandparent. Mm -hmm. It would have been grandfather. Yeah, did he, and he's the one. And, and he would he he donated the money or the, donated the land for the park, mm -hmm. cribs park. Mm -hmm. And in honor of his son, his son who passed away. It was who, who got, in uh, honor of his son who passed he away. Died in a car accident. His son died. Oh. Well, and did he have any other kids, or was it just? Beyonce. Oh my goodness! He was a drunken driver, I believe, and forced him off the road. <laughs> What's that? Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. And there was a question about who was driving. Driving, that I heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I didn't know. Either. And and did he, did did they all live locally, or did Hyatt Cripps live just here in Western PA, or did he live in Verona, Oakmont area, or when you went to go visit Grandma and Grandpa, was it? I know you had the Nosses and you had the Cribs. Was Grammy and Grandpa Noss? Would they have been? Where did they live? Coriopolis. And then, and then Hyatt and his wife were, which would have been the ah, uh, the stone house. The stone house. Petrunia's funeral home. which is no longer Petrunia's funeral. They sold it. Now it's a regular residential house again. But our dad was born in the house next to it. The, the red, red horse. horse. Yeah, the red horse. Oh. oh. They were born there, and then they moved to the stone house, and then moved in the back. So it was all, the property was all part of the Cribs' family. Mm -hmm. Now, interesting. Um, the Cribs' family, Merle was a, uh, uh elected official of the town. Now, he was a Republican. Now, is Verona typically a Republican area? He's the only Republican. Only Republican. Now, do you remember any memories of, of, I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. Do you remember any, was it always, was it ever like n any uh, elections that came up that were, did, did your dad have close or have to get out the, or did the family ever, it was always people respected and trusted him and felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. but and he how, went to bed every night. <clears throat> I mean, election night didn't bother him. But mom and I, especially after I learned to drive, we drive around. On all the poles. <laughs> Did you? Did you really? Oh, I don't remember that. Mm, no. No, you were little and dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was, so I you was 16, so you were just 11. And Dad had the Cuckoo Club. He used to go down to his office all the, the time. Club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and what was the Cuckoo Club? That was just a... Retirees. Men. Retirees. Men. They would sit up and go and look out the, the window. window. <laughs> and how, how many he years retired. did he... retired. Yeah. She got a call from all the women. What are our husbands going to be doing? They wow. have a place to go. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. He even put a bathroom in the back of the office. Yeah. So they had a place to go. Mm -hmm. Now, I, one of the memories I have as a kid is when I visit Grandma and Grandma Cribs, they always had candy in the in the uh, mm -hmm. cabinets. Was that something that they, you always had growing up, or was that more... Did you always have... Was it always a nice thing? 
to enjoy. enjoy. I mean, chocolate it was really milkshakes at the chocolate milkshakes. Mm-hmm. 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 And Miss Indy at Kaufman's, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see my Kaufman's clock up there? I saw that. Yeah, that was my mm-hmm. Christmas present to the kids. That's nice. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And Jenny, what was a favorite memory that you had? Oh, I can't. I'm just brain dead right now. <laughs> We're saying all the stories right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Just I remember cleaning Dad's baby. office. Oh, cleaning what? Dad's office. Dad's yeah. office. Mm. We all took turns cleaning Dad's office. Mm. Carol Plutus and I would clean. Clean the bathroom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did you meet Uncle Lou? How did you meet your husband? Was it high at, school? At high school, and you were in the same grade together, or mm-hmm. same grade together, mm-hmm. and it was uh, what? What was the name of the high school? Verona. Verona High School, and uh, <laughs> and is uh, the Verona High School still there today, or is it no, did they get it's, it's Riverview. Ri- Riverview. Riverview? But the school isn't but, there. Well, the high school is, but now it's elementary. Uh, yeah, but the, the change. Yeah, yeah, elementary mm-hmm. school mm-hmm. is not there. Mm-hmm. Sad. And what type of activities were you involved in in high school? Cheerleading. Were you a cheerleader? I never knew that. Is that right? Yes. How exciting. Yes, I played the clarinet. <laughs> Did you play the clarinet? I have two sisters that played the clarinet. Badly. Oh. Badly. <laughs> I always wanted to play the saxophone. Now, I have to ask you, because one of the family heirlooms we have in our house is that metal clarinet. Did, did that was who played that? Was that you, Mom? Well, you had a wooden. Yeah, we had a metal and then we had a wooden. We had a wooden and a metal, but then that got passed down, and that's what I played on was that metal clarinet, and it was the only one that I knew. I was the only one who uh, had a metal clarinet, so I that was, thought it was pretty cool, you know. <laughs> and and uh, so Uncle Lou and yourself went to high school together. We're, we're, we're telling stories at, at Verona High School. Yes. And you were a cheerleader. That was one of the activities you were involved. in. What attracted you to Uncle Lou? What made you think that he was the guy? <laughs> I'm still so asking. I'm, 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 I'm still asking myself. That <laughs> no, I, did the, I don't even know. Did the families know each other, or was it just a matter no. you 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 said no, that yes? Everybody knew each other. Well, everybody knew each other in Verona, but socially they didn't. They socially, mm-hmm. and it was more of a thing that you just hit it off. Did you share a class together, or all classes? You shared all your classes together. Mm-hmm. So you got so to you know. Were an academic, you had a big choice. Yeah, or academic or general. <laughs> academic or general. So, so we were all an academic. Is that right? And so then that through having classes together, you got to know them and yes. hit it off. Now, do you know? Did you have senior proms and things like that? Where did they have that? High school. Yeah. At the high school. That was the high school. And you know what? Country club. We had ours. Um, no, you know you're right. Our last one was at a country club, but all. Um, I went in 10th grade and then junior grade, but they were in high school. And that's the fun when you decorate the gym. Absolutely. We would have dances on Friday night. Yes. Yeah. And those were soft so I saw at night. Mary's. I saw at Mary's funeral, Bobby Fessemeyer. Oh. And now he's the mayor of Oakmont. Oh, is he mayor now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, know. he's mayor. And he, he, everybody's Republican up there and he's a Democrat. Oh my goodness. But I guess they were having problems up there. I don't know. But I, when I saw him, I said, Bobby Fessler, you were my first crush. <laughs> I said, you asked me to dance in eighth grade, and I'll never forget it. <laughs> but Judy, he married uh, Louie's neighbor, Judy. Uh, mm. Chris Mike. Oh, really? Yeah. And hey, she had, hi, hey, you too. Patrick. Um, well, you better turn Where did the back. kids have <laughs> You know what that means? Being dominant. Oh, uh-huh. It doesn't mean, I guess, my neighbor tells me this uh-huh. stuff. Hey, hey, question for you. Where did the kids hang out at high school? Where were the hangouts? Where did you go on a Friday night? Or were, uh-huh. on Friday, Saturday night, did they have... The drugstores. The drugstore? Yeah. There's a drugstore in each corner, and you stand outside of the drugstore. You get a Coke. You just, just hang out. Uh-huh. And it would be a people to see each other and be able to say, hey, <laughs> get something to drink. Uh, Chris Archer's. Yes, there's okay. Maury. Maury. Bluestone. Bluestone. Now, Maury that Bluestone. was Bluestone. Yeah. Where was the other one? Marshall Woods. Okay, Marshall Kevin. Woods. Marshall Woods, Chris, and Mari Bluestone. I can remember Marshall Woods, Carolyn and I. I, I don't know if I think you were there, but Carolyn and I and Maureen Schutz were coming home from the Oaks. She took us to a From the movie theater, yeah. And 
we had an air raid warden, uh, air raid uh, alert, and we hid in Marshall Woods, mm -hmm. that little alcove there, scared to death. Wow. So Mom, Dad came and found us and took us home. Mom used to go out to Penn Hills and watch for planes. Planes. Yes. Really? They had a group of women that went out and, and donated. And this would have been, and you would wow. Curtains During the curtains in the house. You know, because we had our black curtains. curtains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also had a ladder under their bed in case there was a fire. Right. A rope ladder. ladder yeah. Wow, and how was uh, Grammy and Grandpa Cribs, Merle and Isabel, what were they like as parents? I, I remember one time huh. we heard a noise, and Dad was going downstairs to check out the noise as somebody was breaking in. He turned around and said, anybody coming with me? He <laughs> 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 was doing that by himself. <laughs> no, um, oh, I don't know. But were they strict? Were Grandma and Grandpa Cribs, were they strict? Or were they... Loser? They have three girls. Strict. No, Grandpa wasn't strict. Mom, if anybody was a disciplinarian, it would have been Mom. Mm -hmm. Mom. Ask yeah. your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Dad was in we soft touch. To, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. I had a date. I had to walk. I wasn't allowed to ride in a car. Mm -hmm. Did, did parents need to know who you were dating? The parents? Or was that an issue? Or was it they... They trusted your girls pretty much about, yeah? The times were different. We didn't drive. Today, kids can drive and do things. And Dad would come home around 5, 5.30, mm -hmm. and sit in the rocker, and then go out yeah. and we, to the kitchen. We would have dinner, and Mom would serve the plates already with the food on the plates. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do you know what I remember? After church on Sunday, if we went to my grandmother Cribs's, we'd sit there, and her other... Uh, my, our uncle Delmas would be there, and we'd have to sit like little ladies and recite our lesson. I mean, that was always a chore. He would always he say, "What did you learn?" Yeah. He, he um, uncle Delmas would do that. But yeah. then we'd go home and have Sunday meal around the table, and we'd sit all afternoon discussing Bible. I can remember that vividly because we get on Mary and Martha, and we'd have debates on who was, you know, are you, are you a Mary or are you a Martha? That kind of. So Christian was, upbringing was very was much an, of your foundation of how you grew up. It was amazing how, and he, he used to go up Sunday mornings and uh, put the coal in the, uh, one of the ones, uh, put the coal in the furnace for the church. Mm -hmm. Wow. They had a really strong men's Sunday school class, very strong. And what church did you go to as girls? Methodist. Was that right up the street from where you lived? Mm -hmm. And we lived next door to the parsonage, and the Pastor Hilbert had an amazing sister that peeked out the windows at us. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie did the same thing. She did the same, same thing. Same thing. He peeked out the second mm -hmm. window. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Aunt Louise, do you have a favorite memory growing up? Oh, what was it like having two sisters growing up? Did you ever think you wanted to ever, ever have a brother? Or was it cool having two sisters? You were the oldest. We were treated like boys. You were treated like boys. I have you mean, a box and gloves. Really? Guns, a shotgun. Yeah, I had, I a had, shotgun? Yeah. I had a play gun. birthday party and I wore a cowboy suit. And Dad would take mm -hmm. us I out in the yard. I had pants and, and holsters. You know, Is that right? Yeah. See? And I had cuffs that you snapped. Don't you remember? Yes. Uh -huh. snapped, and, they had, had and they had fringe. Uh, mm -hmm. But they had jewelry, mm -hmm. studs on it. Yeah. Is that and right? And we played catch ball. We, we had all ball. kinds of sports equipment. What type of community things were you all involved in? Was there Girl Scouts or were there different things that growing up? Brownies and Girl Scouts. Brownies and Girl Scouts. And and did uh, at, the, at the Methodist Church. We had Mary Louise Young. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Mary Louise Young. And Peggy. Was it Peggy something? Mary Louise Young. Any family vacations that you. Outside. That's what's and different. Roller skates. People did more road. things outside. outside. Community softball games. And I remember... You always had a skate key. <laughs> <laughs> you fought yeah. over the skate key. key. Mm -hmm. Tighten up your skates. But we had a good neighborhood, and we were the youngest of a lot of them. Remember, you know, uh, the Abercrombies and uh, all them. The I'm trying to think of the ones. Uh, Burkhardt's. And Woodings. We were Woodings, the youngest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, I think that's the difference today. I think we played outside, we did games, you know, release the Belgium, yeah. hide and seek, things like that. And I don't think kids have that today as much. That's awesome. You know? And you came in when the lights went on. 
when the street lights went on. It was time to come home. Thank you.